Excuse me, Captain. Do you happen to have a pair of scissors? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Can't guarantee he won't bite you. Hmm? Sit down, please. What for? I'd uh, like to cut your hair. This will have to be quick. I relieve Mr. Ramsey at eight bells. Relax. I'm not sure I trust Lady Barbers. Doesn't one of your men ever give you a haircut? More than ship's master keeps his personal life to himself, the better. How far are we from Honolulu? More than 2,000 miles. Will we see any land between here and Mexico? Only the Marquesas. Good. Does your wife do this for you when you're home? Nope. I have a hunch your wife goes along with you. And her name would be Cannibal. You're pretty smart. <laughs> you give yourself away, Captain. A single man has all the confidence in the world until he's asked about his wife. Then he goes to pieces. You scared me. See? Now you're embarrassed. A married man wouldn't be. But you're in love, Captain. What time is it? Pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look on the desk. Well, according to this, it's almost 8 o'clock. What is that thing? It's a chronometer. We navigate by it. It tells us the exact time. We have to know the exact time in order to find out the exact longitude. Otherwise, it wouldn't... Quite an improvement. What? The haircut. Oh. Tell me something, Captain. Don't you ever smile at anyone except him? What's he got that makes him so special? Why can't I get in that league? Captain? With that towel around your neck, you'll have trouble with your dignity. You can... Uh... Stay here for a while, if you like. There's books. Read anyone you like. There's a piano, even. The last owner left it behind. Thanks. 